Namaste. Close your eyes. We're going to start centering. So you can bring your hands together or rest them on over your knees, wherever it feels most comfortable, most connected. Just connect with your breath, connect with what's present for you right now. And try to sit as long and straight as you can. Your chin slightly tucked in towards your chest feeling the connection between the floor and the crown of the head. So through your spine, you connect from your crown to your tailbone. And put an intention for your practice today. Bring your palms together. Open your eyes and say namaste to yourselves and to the world. <laughs> and we're going to come into standing place. So come into standing. And have your feet a bit wider than hip distance. And let your hips just sway side to side. Maybe you can do a figure of eight with your hips and change direction. If you hear some popping, that's normal. Good. Now open your feet a little bit wider and go side to side. Also swaying your upper body and your arms. That's it, good. Now leave one leg bent and the arm is loose in there. And bring the other arm up towards the sky. It doesn't matter which side. Transfer the weight. Keep that weight firmly in here. And bring the arm up. Good, do it again. Go to the first side. One arm is completely relaxed. And the other one opens up and change. Good. And release. Interlace your fingers behind your back and bend your elbows so your hands will be pointing towards your tailbone. Open your chest, open your heart. And that should be a nice stretch on your shoulders. Your knees are soft. Your hips are still able to move. Now let the arms stretch down towards the floor and bending from your hips, bring your arms overhead. Your knees can be bent. Let your arms stretch as far as they can stretch. And you can extend your knees, if it feels okay, if it feels too tight on your hamstrings, then keep your knees bent. And release, walk both hands to one leg and bring your nose towards your knee. Your knee can be bent and the other one, the other leg can be straight. And walk your hands all the way towards the other side. Lovely. And heel toe your feet towards each other. Lift your heels and come to a squat. Wonderful. Have your fingertips onto the floor. If squatting is um, difficult for you, you can have a couple of blocks if you want. Now, see if you can bring one leg forwards. And just rotate that foot. Yeah, that's it. And bring it back in. And bring the other leg. And rotate. Lovely. And bring it back in. 
Now keep your balls of the feet on the floor and bring your hands towards your heart. We're going to inhale and go in a diagonal, stretching and opening. And bring your hands back to center. Now go on the other diagonal, stretching and opening. Exercising our balance and bring it back to center. And release your hands onto the floor. You can have your fingertips outside or inside your knees. That doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to straighten and bend. And straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Now on the next one, we're going to stay with our chest towards the thighs, head towards the knees, legs straight. So straighten your legs and have your head towards your knees. You can shake your knees if you want a little bit. Maybe bend one knee and bring your nose towards your knee. This will stretch the outside of your hips. And change sides. And bring it back to center. And roll it up into standing. Bring your arms around and up. Palms together. Exhale. Hands towards your heart. Good. Shake your arms and shake your legs. And now we're going to tap the whole body as if you were clapping. So activating the circulation in the whole body. Go sequentially, Geraldine, arm, one arm first, then the other. And the chest and the belly. And the arm and the back. And behind the leg, on the shoulders, one leg, the other leg, a bit of balance, get one foot and tap it <laughs> and get the other foot and tap it. Good. Now close your eyes and just feel the whole body tingling, tingling with this wonderful wake up of the skin. Lovely. And come to the front of your mat. We're going to start with Surya Namaskara A. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light from the window before the sun. Blinds us, that's better. <laughs> the sun sets just on that window, so in a moment it might come all the way through. Have your feet hip distance. You can bend your knees and see that your knees are covering your little toes and you can see your big toes. And your hips are soft, your knees are soft. Inhale, bring your arms around and up. Baby back bend. Exhale, fall forwards, keep your belly in. Inhale, straighten your legs and flatten your back. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your right leg back. You can release the back knee onto the floor, opening the space between your front leg and back leg. Hands onto the floor, lift the back knee and bring the left leg back into plank. Good, bring your knees onto the floor, chest forwards and lower down into chaturanga shoulders back and down elbows towards each other inhale cobra exhale tuck your toes downward facing dog inhale bring your right leg up look towards your hands and bring the right foot between your hands release the back knee onto the floor opening the chest that's it. Lift the back knee, bring the back foot forwards. 
flat back, exhale, fall forwards, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, release, inhale, arms up, exhale, fall forwards, inhale, flat back, exhale, your left leg comes back into a low lunge, yes, that's it, you can release the back knee or keep it up, and bring your right leg back into plank, Knees come on the floor, keep your chest over your wrists. Your belly is engaged as you lower down into Chaturanga. Hands push on the floor, shoulders back and down, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, look towards the hands and bring the left foot between your hands. Open your chest and lower your hip. Good. And bring the back foot forwards. Hands onto your shins, flat back. And exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Shake your hands, shake your arms. We're going to do three Surya Namaskar A's with um, the usage of one breath per movement. So if you are not sure what I'm talking about, just watch for a moment. We're going to inhale every time we have our chest away from the body. And when we go towards the body, we exhale. Inhale. Exhale as you go down. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale. Jump and flat back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, release. Good. If you are not familiar with jumping or not comfortable with jumping, you can walk from the back of the mat to the front. But if you can't jump, make sure that you jump upwards, not downwards, so that you're floating forwards towards your hands. Here we go. Three of these, one breath per movement. Most of you know it, so inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump. Hold the breath and come down as you exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look towards your hands. Step or jump, fall forwards. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. So, when we're jumping back and then going down into Chaturanga, that is supposed to be one exhalation. So, if you need to go plank and then Chaturanga, when you're in plank, you hold the breath until you can release as you come down. Otherwise, you will have more breaths. And as I was saying before, when you jump, try to jump upwards and softly. Good, let's do it. Two more, inhale. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump into plank, lower into Chaturanga. Roll your toes, up dog or cobra. Very good. Roll your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, look towards your hands, lift your heels, bend your knees. Jump towards your hands, flat back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Use your Ujjayi breath if you know it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Take a moment, catch your breath. If you need to drink water, please feel free to do so. But if you don't need completely to drink, drink water, keep your mouth closed and breathe slowly so that saliva gets generated in the mouth. We are after rising up the heat, but at the same time, we don't want to overheat. 
Bring your hands towards your heart. Samastiti, heel, equal standing. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your arms back and up. Utkatasana, chair pose. In chair pose, our arms are either side of the head. Tailbone is down, knees are parallel, belly's in, and your pelvic floor is in and up. Inhale here, exhale, reach and come halfway. Stay at this 90 degrees angle and bring your hands by the sides of your hips. Exhale, bring them forwards. Just imagine that you're swimming, you're snorkeling and watching beautiful fishes and corals and everything else and the water. One more. Good. Release the hands onto the floor. Bend your knees a little bit and bring your right leg back into half moon kind of thing or warrior three. And lift your left hand up. So you're reaching through your left heel and your right hand. Really, and left hand is up, right hand is down. Release your hand, release the foot. We're in a wide, low lunge. Bring your hands either side of your foot. Open your chest. Your knee might overtake your ankle. It's okay in this case. And bring yourself to the inside of your knee. And let your right hand stretch forwards whilst you are holding your left knee with your right uh, left elbow. Lovely, bring it back to center. Bring your hands either side of the left foot and bring the left foot up into plank, three-legged plank. So your left leg is up. And we're going to tap with the nails and bring it up. Tap with the toenail, bring it up. Tap and up, tap and up. Two more, last one. Let your right knee come onto the floor and bend your left knee. The foot comes parallel to the ceiling. You might need to move your arms a little bit underneath your shoulders and push it up and up and up, just generating a bit of tenacity on your rear, <laughs> your backside. And keep it in here. Bring your chest forwards, nose to floor, and bring it up. Nose to floor, bring it up. Nose to floor, bring it up. Two more. Last one. And release. Come into a child's pose with your knees together. So arching your back, stretching your hips. Breathe deeply. Good, inhale, lift your head, tuck your toes under and come up into your downward facing dog. Today we're going to go forwards with the left leg. So we go forwards with the leg that we just arrived. Inhale, left leg up, look towards the hands and bring the left foot between your hands. Lovely. Inhale, come back into this balancing posture with the leg parallel to the floor. And push the left foot onto the floor. Tense your abdomen as you bring your right leg all the way up. <laughs> That's it. It can be bent if you need to. Let the leg come along the left foot. Come into your warrior three.
Bend the standing leg a little bit and come into your balance. <laughs> you see, I've learned how important balance is this weekend. And uh, release, bring your hands to your heart. Catch your breath, shake your legs. Good. We're going to do it all on the other side. So your feet can be parallel all together. Hands towards your heart, samasthiti hi. Inhale, exhale, bring your arms back and up, utkatasana, chair pose. Keep your belly in, keep your tailbone down. Pelvic floor is in and up, ujjayi breathing. Inhale here. Exhale, come 90 degrees, keeping your chest parallel to the floor. And a bit of swimming, <laughs> bring your arms forwards and back. And forwards and back. Feel the change of weight on your feet. Feel the sides of the body. One more. And then bring your hands onto the floor. This time, soften your knees and bring your left leg up. Keep your left hand on the, front, on the floor and bring your right arm up. Try to reach between your fingertips on the right hand and the left heel. And release, bring the left leg back into a low lunge. Open and reach with the heel. Now bring your hands to the inside of your foot and you push your right knee with your right elbow and the left hand comes forwards so you can feel the lovely stretch on your inner thigh breathe deeply and inhale bring yourselves back to center Toes are on the floor, hands come onto the floor and bring your right leg into three-legged plank. That's it. And tap the floor, bring it up. Tap the floor, bring it up. Tap, bring it up. Tap, bring it up. Tap, bring it up. One more. Bend your left knee and bend your right knee. Bring your hands to be underneath your shoulders and push it up and up, up and up. Trying to reach with the sole of your foot all the way up, toning your gluteus. And keep the hands on the floor, bring your chest forwards, bend your elbows and up, bend and up, bend and up. This is called the scorpion. One more. And release. Knees together, toes together. Release into this child's pose. You can have your arms forward, so by the side of your body, head on the floor. I like to push myself with my hands so that my lower back gets a bit more of a stretch in here. Oh. Good. Place your hands onto the floor. Tuck your toes under, come up into your downward facing dog. Walk your dog if you have to release any tension on your, the back of your legs, on your knees. And we're going to go forwards with the leg that we came back. Bring your right leg up, look towards your hands and bring your right foot between your hands. Lovely. Inhale, bring the leg up into its balancing pose. And from here, we're going to come all the way up into standing. You can have the leg outstretched or knee bent. Good, bring it back. Just letting it pass through by the side of the right leg. And bring it all the way up. 
You can bend your knee if you want to, if you need to. And exhale, release. Shake, shake it, shake it, shake it. Lovely. Good. Oh, the heating is on, isn't it? Amazing. I love the summer. It's good to have a little bit of a sweat. Keep, uh, keep the breath slow. Use your sitali breath if you feel too hot. Inhaling through your tongue and exhaling through your nose. Good, shoulders back and down. Hands by the side. Inhale, exhale, hands towards your heart. Inhale, arms back and up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Breathe deeply. We're going to do the same flow, but we're going to add a little bit. Bring your hands by the sides of your feet and bring your right leg up. Now, can you bring both arms up? And really gently come into a high lunge. That's it. Push your back leg so that the back knee is straight. Bring your hands towards your heart, look towards your front knee and come into a twist. Release the hands onto the floor. Bring them flat and bring the left leg up and bring it up and down, up and down, up and down. Make sure that your hips are not too high. Last one, release, walk your hands back, bend your, I oh know, first the leg straight. Oh no, 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 bend, bend your knee <laughs> and bring it up and down, up and down. Up and down, we keep working our glutes. Good, make sure you're not hanging your head. Your head should be aligned with your spine. Bring your chest forwards and touch your nose with the floor, bring it back. Touch the floor, bring it back. Touch the floor, bring it back. One more, bring it back. Release the leg. Child's pose just to stretch, feel where you wanna go. You don't need to go all the way into the child's pose. I am, for instance, now going really slow to stretch the whole back. Inhale, look towards your hands, tuck your toes under, come up into your downward facing dog. And the left leg comes up and we're going to bring Knee to chest and bring it back up. And knee to chest, and bring it back. Knee to chest, bring it back. One more, bring it back. Now look towards your hands, bring the foot between your hands. And we're going to float all the way into warrior three. If we can, bring your arms forwards. And then bring the leg through, bring your leg into balance. That's it. Bring it back. Warrior three. Bring it forwards. Bend the knee, bring it into, bring the foot onto the knee and come into your gentleman's chair. Opening up the hip. We continue balancing. If you can, you have your elbows onto your knee and the inside of the arch of your foot. If you can reach towards the floor, try to touch the floor. If you can place your hands flat on the floor and bend your knees, maybe you can balance. Don't worry if you can't. We are building up. And come all the way up. Release, release. Shake. So the balancing from the gentleman's um, position, the gentleman's chair, is only a bit of fun. If you don't feel that you can do it, 
um, don't worry about it. If you want to practice it, you can have a blog in front of you. And you just bring your hands towards the floor and you let, I don't know if you can see, you let the weight of your body rest onto your elbows. If you are using the block as I'm showing right now, you will not come into a balancing, an inversion. Only if you're on the floor, you can. Just let the foot be hooked over your elbow. And with your elbows, you make a little shelf. We will <laughs> build into it. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's do the other leg. <sighs> I love doing this with you guys. It's challenging and it's fun. Samastiti here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms back and up Utkatasana. Breathe deeply. Shoulders are relaxed. Your neck is relaxed. Exhale, come 90 degrees. Stretching the back of your legs. And swim, whee! Gets easier as the more we do it. Bring your hands onto the floor and bring the left leg up. See if you can bring both arms up. Balancing in warrior three. Bend the standing leg and come up into your high lunge. Take a moment to straighten the back leg. Feel the stretch on your thigh, breathing deeply. Inhale here, exhale. Bring your hands towards your heart, look at your knee, bring your elbow over your knee and twist. That's it. It's a lot of balance today. Try to have your hips as low as you can. Push your back heel away. Lovely. And release hands onto the floor. Three-legged plank. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One more. Release the knee onto the floor. Bring your hands closer. Bring the leg parallel to the floor. Bend your knee. And push it up and up. Up and up. Up and up, up and up. Two more. Last one. That's it. We need these for the beginning, you know. Look at your front of the floor. Bring your chest forwards and bend in the elbows. Bring it up. Bend the elbows. Bring it up. Bend, straighten, <laughs> bend, straighten. One more. And release into a child's pose. Maybe you want to do cat cow here. Just feel what your hips need, how you can stretch your back for a moment, just a moment of rest. Inhale and exhale. Tag the toes under, come up into your downward facing dog. Right leg up. Look towards your hands and bring the right foot between your hands. Well, we did a, a bit of repetitions here, didn't we? Bring the leg back up and bring the knee to the chest, coming into plank, bring it back. Bring it forwards and back. Forwards and back. One more. And now bring the foot between your hands. Yay! And from here, we're going to go straight into warrior three. You can have your hands onto the floor until you bring your leg up or just flow with leg and arms. Inhale, let your left leg come up into balance and bring it back into warrior three. Bring it all the way up. 
bend the standing leg, cross your left ankle over your right, bring your hands towards your heart, bring your elbows to the inside of the knee and the inside of your foot. And this might be plenty. If you wanna go a little bit more, reach towards the floor. If your hands can be flat on the floor, then you rest your foot and your knee over your elbows, come into balance, and then come all the way up and release. Whew. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Well done. Roll the shoulders. Excellent. Now we're going to do a little flow to open this side body. We were working all back and front. Now we're going to open the sides. Hands towards your heart. Catch your breath. Inhale, right knee comes up and bring the right foot so that the outer edge of the right foot is parallel to the short end of the mat. And bring your arms parallel to the floor, reach towards the front leg and come into a triangle. Breathe and let your shoulders be aligned with each other. Fingertips are reaching up. Lovely. The head can be looking up, looking to the horizon or looking towards the floor. Bend the front knee and place your elbow into the knee, palm facing up, and bring your arm overhead. So in this position from triangle, you will be in a little bit of a short side, side stretch. But don't worry, it's on purpose. Bring your hand, your right hand onto your right leg. Keep the front leg bent and open up the side, the front side of the body. Breathe and release, lift the back foot, the left foot and turn the right. Both legs are straight, reach towards the front leg, reach, reach, reach. And bring your hand onto your shin, ankle, wherever you can. Keep your head to the horizon, breathing deeply. Inhale, look towards the floor and bend the front knee, bring the forearm onto the knee and the palm facing upwards and stretch. So when you're doing this, you are able to arch the side of the body. That's what we are after in here. Inhale, come all the way up, release and bring your legs together. Shake your legs. So now we're going to go into a bit of a wider stance. And you might want to have a block. Good. So I'm going to change the angle so that I can still see you. Lovely, so now we're going to lead with the left leg. Bring your hands towards your heart. Bring your left knee towards your chest. And then bring the leg back. This time, a stance as wide as we can. So, one foot is facing forwards. The other foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. Good. Inhale, open your arms, have your block nearby, and if you want to, you can have it in front of your foot. So we're going to reach towards the floor. If you have the block in there, it's a nice and wide stretch. 
If you feel that you can do a little bit more, then turn the block to be in position two with a shorter stance. If you want even more, turn the block to be flat and then push the hand on the floor. Imagine that your feet are splitting the mat between them and the fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. Lovely. Now look towards the floor very gently. Bend with their front knee and bring their arm behind and tack it onto your thigh. So the shoulder is opening and you're looking over your shoulder. You can rest the knee against the elbow, just feeling that, that capacity that we have. If this is enough, you stay there. If you want a little bit more, let your shoulder be close to your knee. Turn your right hand underneath and hold your left hand with your right hand behind your thigh. Good. Now look towards the ground. Let's see if you have movement in here. Front leg, bend and straighten. Maybe you can straighten the front leg and come into this bind triangle. Release. You can have your hand onto the block. You can heel toe your back foot if you want. Come all the way up and sand warrior on this side. This is just a contra posture to open the ribs. Lovely. And release. Now change the position of the legs and change your block. These are intense poses. Let me show you when you're binding behind your back. If I show you from this position, if I have my legs too, too close together, the back knee will bend and I won't be able to reach. So the legs need to be as wide as they can be. Then we have first the arm in front. Then we bring the hand behind. Then the hand can go underneath and reach. See that I'm not bringing my hands in between my legs. I'm bringing it close to my left. And then we straighten it and bend it. And then your triangle, you can stay with both legs straight. But you don't have to. Just do what's available to you, okay? We're having a bit of fun. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You can, you can hold a lot of tension if you don't pay attention. <laughs> oh, I spoke in rhyme. Okay. So your legs are now a lot wider than a normal triangle. Both knees are straight. Both knees straight. Good. Have the block in front of your foot. And you can start on the higher setting. You never know, in this side, you might need a higher setting. And it's absolutely fine. What is important whenever you're doing yoga or any exercise really, is to observe your breath. If your breath is compromised, if you're holding your breath, if your breath is too shallow, then it means that you need to ease out a little bit. See so if you can lower, the hand closer to the floor, turning the block. Maybe another one. Lovely. Now bend the front knee. The elbow is against the knee. And you can bring the hand behind and tuck the, the fingers behind the thigh. Geraldine, bring the belt closer to your knee. 
So not near your buttocks, closer to your knee. Lovely. Now, if you can, lower your elbow, lower your shoulder, and bring the hands behind you. Hold the foot and open up. Hold the hand, sorry. And see if you can straighten on this side. It might or might not be possible. Find your right position. Release, look towards the floor. Bring the back foot in if the legs are too wide apart. Stand, warrior. Breathe. Ah, release. Jump your legs together. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. That glass went too fast. Let's do again the tapping. Tapping all over the body. Tap, 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 tap the chest and the belly. And the arms and the kidneys and the back as much as you can. And one leg. And the other. And the feet. One other time, please. <laughs> Levitation will be for next week. We're going to tap the head. We didn't tap the head at the beginning. So tap the head, fingers onto the skull. Tap, tap, tap. If you want, go on the face, you have to be more gentle. The skull can be quite hard. <sighs> Release the hands by the sides of your body. Inhale, exhale. Feel that vibration all over your body. And we have only five minutes left. So if you feel grounded and in the flow to be standing, you can stay standing. If you prefer, you can come into easy pose, coming into sitting, or you can come into lying down. For Shavasana. So just choose your option depending on how you feel right now. It's all valid. And wherever you are, just close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. And when you're tired of the body like this, and pull, roll your shoulders back and open your chest wherever you are sitting. When you're tired of your body like this, you are able to come into a different space. So scan your body from your toes, shins, your knees, thighs, hips. The whole of your spine, tailbone, sacrum, lower back, middle back, upper back. And your belly, and your chest. Feel the heart inside your chest. And feel the whole of your awareness floating down through your arms, elbows, wrists. Feel the pulsation in your hands. And feel your head, your neck, your face. You might still feel the touch of the slapping, the tapping.
And if you're seated or standing, just check if you want to remain there or you want to lie down into Shavasana. Witness the state of your body and your mind. And give yourselves a little smile. And if you're lying down or standing up, wiggle your toes and your fingers. If you're lying down, have a stretch and bring your knees towards your chest and come into sitting. If you're standing, also have a stretch and then bring yourselves down into sitting. If you're sitting, you can just move your body gently, bring in the attention back and before we close we're going to do a brahmari breath which is very calming for the mind brahmari breath you're going to use your fingertips to just indicate your sense well the sense organs and your thumbs will cover your ears so that the vibration of the mm, like an ohm with your mouth closed will um, reverberate in the whole of your head. So when you're ready, keep your elbows to the sides. Inhale through your nose and exhale, making an ohm with your lips closed. Mm. finish bring your palms together over your chest take a moment to feel that vibration om shanti 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 he namaste everybody give yourselves a little clap well done